Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from What's Happening have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2024. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. 1. Ernest Thomas as Roger Raj Thomas, Ernest Lee Thomas played the role of Roger Raj Thomas, a high school student and aspiring writer with dreams of becoming a journalist. Raj was known for his signature catchphrase, Right On, and his distinctive laugh. He was a central character in the show and often found himself involved in the various comedic and relatable situations that the characters encountered. Ernest Lee Thomas hails from a financially challenged neighborhood in Gary, Indiana. His aspiration for success led him to relocate to New York with the goal of becoming a Broadway actor. He marked his professional entrance into Broadway by participating in the 1974 revival production of Love for Love and, subsequently, in the 1975 revival production of The Member of the Wedding. In 1996, Thomas took the stage alongside Grammy Award-winning gospel singer Kirk Franklin in the widely acclaimed and sold-out tour of He Say, She Say, But What Does God Say? Making a return to sitcom stardom in 2005, Ernest Thomas became a recurring figure in the period sitcom Everybody Hates Chris, 2005, portraying the character of Mr. Omar, a funeral director. This role has left a lasting impression on both younger and older audiences. Ernest Thomas holds a bachelor's degree in science with a focus on sociology and psychology, which he earned from Indiana State University. Despite never entering into matrimony and purportedly having no children, Thomas shared in an interview with Vlad TV that he indeed has a daughter. 2. Haywood Nelson as Dwayne Nelson Dwayne is characterized as the more level-headed and sensible member of the trio. His character provides a contrast to the more impulsive and comical actions of Raj and Rerun. Duane is known for his calm demeanor and often serves as a voice of reason within the group. Reason. Haywood Nelson boasts over four decades of involvement in the world of entertainment. This actor, born and raised in New York, embarked on his journey in the 1960s, initially as a child performer with an extensive portfolio of national commercials. Among the notable brand campaigns he participated in were Lavoris, Pucker Power, Campbell's Soup, mm, Mmm, good. Libby's, 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 Libby's on the label, label, label. Rock'em, Sock'em, Robots. Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, Aurora Cars, Kodak, Polaroid, and numerous others. Remaining active in the entertainment industry, Haywood continues to engage in various capacities. Beyond making personal appearances as himself, he has contributed to the production of network talk shows, TV programs, and interview formats. Maintaining a behind-the-scenes presence, Haywood serves as an analyst and data science consultant for several technology, distribution, and production companies. Haywood is a committed humanitarian, fervently advocating for the flourishing of artists, championing the importance of exemplary education, ethical conduct within communities, and ensuring that youth have access to historical figures who have offered valuable truths, technologies, and philosophies to achieve these noble objectives. 3. Danielle Spencer as D. Thomas in What's Happening, Danielle Spencer played the character of Dee, a smart and sassy teenager who was often at odds with her older brother Raj, played by Ernest Lee Thomas. Danielle Spencer's portrayal of Dee contributed to the show's success, and her character became a fan favorite. Danielle Spencer was born in Trenton, New Jersey, USA. Following the conclusion of What's Happening in 1979, Danielle embarked on a new chapter in 1983, enrolling at the University of California to pursue a medical degree. Her motivation stemmed from the inspiration of her stepfather, Tim Pelt, 
who tragically lost his life in a car accident in 1977. Following her involvement in the successful sequel, What's Happening Now?, Spencer enrolled at Tuskegee University Veterinary School in Alabama, ultimately earning her veterinarian credentials in 1996. Dr. Danielle Spencer re-entered the world of acting in 1997 with roles in the film As Good As It Gets, where she portrayed a veterinarian and Peter Rabbit and the Crucifix in 2001. Dr. Danielle Spencer has been happily married to Gary Field since 1999. 19 Notably, Danielle Spencer shared the Character Most in Need of a Time Out Award at the 2006 TV Land Awards with Alison Arngrim. Dr. Danielle Spencer remains a distinguished actress who has tackled societal issues such as education, abortion, and poverty through her contributions to a sitcom that imparted valuable moral values. 4. Fred Berry as Freddie Rerun Stubbs Freddie Rerun Stubbs is depicted as the close friend of Roger Raj, Thomas, and Dwayne Nelson. Known by his nickname, Rerun, the character is often recognized for his distinctive fashion style, including his signature red beret. Rerun is portrayed as a jovial, good-natured character who adds comedic elements to the series. For a stretch in the 1970s, Fred Berry stood as one of the prominent figures on American television the ex-dancer who rose to fame in the sitcom What's Happening, 1976, expanded in size until his weight posed a threat to his well-being. He grappled with issues related to food, alcohol, substances, and relationships, exchanging vows six times with a total of four women. The diagnosis of diabetes prompted a turnaround, shedding over a hundred pounds and leading him toward a path of religious devotion. Born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1951, Barry showcased his dance skills with The Lockers, but it was the sitcom deal in 1976 that marked his breakthrough. The series enjoyed three seasons of success. Following its cancellation, Barry faced personal challenges and the quest for another starring opportunity. The show retained its popularity through reruns and a follow-up series, What's Happening Now, 1985, was picked up in 1985, running for three years. Subsequently, Barry left acting to pursue his religious calling. He made a return to the screen in 1998 with the action movie In the Hood, 1998, and his final appearance was a cameo in Dream of Being a Star, 2003, in 2003. Barry passed away on October 21, 2003, at the age of 52. Five, Shirley Hemphill as Shirley Wilson. Shirley Wilson is a close friend of the main characters, particularly Shirley's neighbor and friend. Shirley Wilson is known for her no-nonsense attitude and witty remarks, contributing to the comedic elements of the show. Hemphill hailed from Asheville, North Carolina, born to Richard and Mozella Hemphill with a sibling named William. She attended Hill Street School and Stevens Lee High School, securing an athletic scholarship to Morristown College, where she pursued a major in physical education. Returning to Asheville after two years, Hemphill secured employment in a factory specializing in nylon manufacturing. In the subsequent years, Hemphill primarily worked in nightclubs across the United States during the early 1980s, occasionally making guest appearances on TV programs such as The Love Boat and Trapper John, M.D. In 1985, she received an invitation to co-star in the revival of What's Happening, titled What's Happening Now, which aired in syndication from 1985 to 1988. Following the conclusion of What's Happening Now, spanning three years, Hemphill once again immersed herself in the nightclub circuit and took on sporadic acting roles in various 90s comedy sitcoms, including Martin and the Wayans Bros. Her venture into the film industry began in 1993 with her appearance in the movie CB4, featuring Chris Rock. Two years later, she co-starred in her second film, Shoot the Moon, alongside Whitney Anderson. On December 10, 1999, Hemphill was discovered deceased at her residence in West Covina, California, at the age of 52. 
A gardener made the discovery by peering through a window and observing her on the bedroom floor. An autopsy revealed that Hemp Hill succumbed to kidney failure. 6. Mabel King as Mabel Mama Thomas Mama, also affectionately known as Mabel, is the caring and wise mother of Roger Raj Thomas and D. Thomas. She is often depicted as a voice of reason, offering guidance and humor in various family situations. Mama's interactions with her children and their friends contribute to the warmth and charm of the series. She embarked on her acting journey in her mid-30s around 1966, taking on the role of Maria in the national touring production of Porgy and Bess. The subsequent year marked her appearance as Ernestina in the Broadway musical comedy Hello, Dolly! By 1972, she graced the screen in the musical film Don't Play Us Cheap. Its release delayed until the following year after a successful Broadway run as a stage play. In that very year, she assumed the role of the Queen of Mercia in the horror film Ganja and Hess. Her marriage to Melvin King endured from June 1967 until September 1989. A son named Larry Jr., born to her and Larry Banks, passed away in 1996. A committed conservative Republican, King ardently supported Ronald Reagan's presidency. Dealing with diabetes, she underwent the amputation of one toe in 1986 due to the disease. The year 1990 brought a stroke, leading her to the motion picture and television country house and hospital in Woodland Hills, California. Subsequent years saw the amputation of her left leg in 1991 and her right leg in 1994, both consequences of diabetes. Additionally, one of her arms succumbed to the impact of the disease. On November 9, 1999, King passed away at the age of 66. 7. Earl Billings as Rob Earl Billings portrayed Rob, serving as the proprietor of Rob's place and Shirley's employer. Earl Billings has sustained a distinguished career in the acting realm, spanning more than six decades. Hailing from Cleveland, Ohio, he was born on July 4, 1945. His involvement in the acting profession traverses from minor roles to more substantial and enduring screen engagements. His association extends to prominent television series such as What's Happening, The Bionic Woman, The Incredible Hulk, The Jeffersons, and Knight Rider. His robust, stocky physique often landed him roles as everyday men and characters like police officers or guards. Noteworthy contributions in film include appearances in Crimson Tide, 1995, alongside Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman, Con Air, 1997, featuring Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, and John Malkovich, and Thank You for Smoking, starring Aaron Eckhart. Earl Billings has left a lasting mark on television with credits in episodes of Walker, Texas Ranger, Ally McBeal, ER, Without a Trace, and How I Met Your Mother during the late 1990s and the early to mid-2000s. Transitioning into the late 2000s, Earl made appearances on additional television series, starting with Misguided in 2008, followed by the vampire drama True Blood in the same year. In 2010, Earl also featured in episodes of Cold Case, Parenthood, and Raising Hope. 8. Fritzy Burr as Miss Collins Fritzy Burr assumes the character of Mrs. Gertrude Collins, serving as the boy's high school instructor. Burr engaged in amateur theater and participated in sketches alongside the vaudeville comedy duo of Smith and Dale. By the end of the 1950s, she had ventured onto Broadway, featuring in I Can Get It For You Wholesale, the production that propelled Barbara Streisand to national prominence. Subsequently, Burr took over from Kay Medford as Fanny Bryce's mother, portrayed by Streisand, in Funny Girl, 1968. Among her Broadway accomplishments was the portrayal of Sylvia Goldman in The Family Way, 1965. Burr maintained a regular presence in small theaters, dinner theaters, and touring productions of musicals like Fiddler on the Roof, where she assumed various roles, including Yente and Tavy's enduring wife, Golda. Upon relocating to Hollywood, 
she secured consistent roles as a character actress in both films and television. Burr was wedded to Aaron Heyman until his passing in 1995. She passed away in Fort Myers, Florida, from natural causes on January 17, 2003, at the age of 78. 9. Thalmas Rasulala as Bill Thomas Thalmas Rasulala takes on the role of Bill Thomas, serving as Mabel's former husband and the father of Roger and Dee. Rasulala made his television debut in the 1960s, securing minor roles in shows like Perry Mason and The Twilight Zone. He featured in two episodes of the NBC anthology series Craft Suspense Theater, with the initial episode scripted by Robert Hamner and showcasing guest stars James Gregory and Warren Stevens from Star Trek, the original series. His second episode also included original series regular Leonard Nimoy, along with Morgan Jones, Gary Wahlberg, and Jason Wingreen. Rasulala collaborated with LeVar Burton for the second time after Roots in the 1984 short film Booker. During the 1980s, he amassed six credits in feature films. In 1986, he appeared in the action thriller Born American with David Coburn and the comedy The Boss Wife with Christopher Plummer and Robert Costanzo. Two films were released in 1988, the Steven Siegel action thriller Above the Law and the Actioner Bulletproof. He then starred in the 1989 film The Package, featuring Joanna Cassidy and co-starring Danny Goldring. Between 1989 and 1990, Rasulala portrayed police Captain Bolts in a revamped version of the classic series Dragnet. He also assumed the role of a police commissioner in the acclaimed 1991 film New Jack City, which also showcased Bill Cobbs. Rasulala's final TV movie was Blind Vengeance in 1990, co-starring Richard Lineback and James Parks. His last two films, the drama Judgment and the comedy Mom and Dad Save the World, were released posthumously in 1992. Judgment featured Raymond Cruz and the previously mentioned Ed Lauder, while Mom and Dad Save the World co-starred Wallace Shawn. 10. Debbie Morgan as Diane Debbie Morgan assumes the role of Diane Harris, portraying another classmate alongside Roger, Dwayne, and Rerun. Morgan hails from Dunn, North Carolina, born to Laura, a teacher, and George Morgan Jr., a butcher. She has a younger sister named Terry. The family moved to the Bronx when Morgan was still a child. In a 1997 conversation with People, Morgan disclosed that her father was an abusive alcoholic. While he never physically harmed his daughters, Morgan recounted her mother frequently fleeing from her father. Her father succumbed to leukemia in 1975. Morgan graduated from Aquinas High School. In 2017, Morgan featured in the Marvel miniseries The Defenders, portraying the character Dolores. The subsequent year, she held a recurring role in the BET drama series The Quad. In 2019, she appeared in the Netflix film Sex Tuplets alongside Marlon Wayans. She co-starred with Kelly Rowland in the Lifetime movie Merry Little Christmas and its sequels. In 2021, she secured a role in the Lee Daniels primetime soap opera Our Kind of People, opposite Yaya DaCosta. In 2023, she depicted Keisha Cole's mother in the Lifetime biopic Keisha Cole. This is my story. Jasmine Blue from TV Fanatic expressed in her review, Debbie Morgan, though, has always been a force, a legend who deserves every last bit of her flowers right here and now. To say she stole this film would be the understatement of the century. She was magnificent. She did such a remarkable job playing Frankie. There were moments it literally gave me chills. It's almost eerie how well Morgan imagined the late mother and grandmother. Morgan subsequently landed a role in the drama film Divorcee in the Black, scripted and directed by Tyler Perry. Morgan has entered matrimony four times and does not have children. Her initial marriage was with Charles Weldon from 1980 to 1984. In 1989, Morgan wedded actor Charles S. Dutton, and they divorced in 1994. 
From 1997 to 2000, Morgan was married to photographer Don Thompson. She has been married to Jeffrey Winston since June 2009. From the energetic and iconic performances of the main cast, including Raj, Rerun, Dwayne, Mama, D, and Shirley, to the memorable supporting characters like Rob and Mrs. Collins, each member played a crucial role in making What's Happening a beloved classic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more content about your favorite TV shows and stars. Join us next time as we continue to explore the rich tapestry of entertainment history. Until then, take care, stay entertained, and keep those good vibes rolling.